what a day of football what a day in the Copa america and in the euros 2024 but we're going to discuss it so i'm going to be talking about the games that have been played this weekend and the games that were played today in i don't want this video to be uh longer than 20 minutes so i'm going to hurry up and say this so as you guys know that um italy on a couple of sides, uh, Switzerland went through to the next round. I wasn't expecting Italy to go far, to be honest, because as I've stated before, this side is very average, man. Italy is a very average side. They have no one apart from Barella, Varela, Varela, what's his name? Barella, the Italian midfield that stands out, man. Their side is very average, man. They have no outstanding players, man. El Shirawi, El Shirawi has not been significant since 2015 and he's still in, in the italian squad but you could see that he added some width something different than how italy plays because italy plays usually with wing backs and the santos the the marzio is usually the, or whatever his name is is left back but he didn't play left back or he did play but if he did play he wasn't as attacking as previous games because el shirawi was the main wing on the left hand side for them but it was to no avail switzerland beat italy quite convincingly three nil in or at least two nil in the first half yeah yeah it was a very good goal ebola should have gotten a chance he, he, he could have got he could have at least scored two but him go bungle the two chances the man to score and the switzerland guy that finished it in the top corner man Donnarumma had no chance, had no chance in hell. I don't even, I don't even care if this bridging did a heal me. He wasn't going, to, he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to save that Donnarumma. So um, and by the way, that is not going to uh tomorrow is Canada Day. So if you're here in Firecrackers on your end, it's on my end. I mean, they're celebrating Canada Day in advance, which is tomorrow. Um, so don't think it's 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 gunshots. Although I know in certain instances they can't tell the difference. But yeah, Switzerland was all over Italy, man. They knocked out Italy, and Italy were the defending champions in the competition. And he got knocked out. So yeah, that was a bad um, represent, representante <laughs> from Italy in the Copa America. They, didn't, they, they, weren't, they just weren't convincing. Um, so yeah, Switzerland, they are through to the next round. They look quite convincing. They have a, they have a good squad. They have decent players, um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play against your next opponent in the quarterfinal. Next game is Germany against, um, is that, was it against Slovenia? I don't remember, I, don't, I think it was against Slovenia. Um, Germany won that game, huh? Germany won that game quite convincingly. Um, I think our goal was... Cross crossed the ball from a corner and it was scored but they they didn't give it 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 was offside i don't think it was an offside goal by the looks of it but um it was ruled out but still germany being germany they were always going to create chances man they were always going to create chances whether it's from deep or in the attacking third they were, so it wasn't a matter of if they were going to score they were always going to score they were always going to score plus they have home advantage you're playing in germany so of course they're going to try they're, they're going to, of course, dominate the game. And this is Tony Kroos's last, not only football competition, but this is, this is his last dance in world football. So, yeah, he, the, the Germany is, was really going to stand out, and they did. Um, what baffled me is, why is it that Slovenia, for the side that they are, man, you guys are not France, you guys are not Belgium, you guys are not even England. Why are you playing a high line against Germany? You're asking for trouble if you're playing a high line against... Because if in the second half, that's what happened. Musiala go get his third goal at the competition. I don't think Musiala expected to get that type of space. But then give him that type of space and him go score his third goal in the competition. It's me. Havertz go get goal from the penalty spot. Who else go get goal? Um, Fulcrum. <laughs> is, is his name Fulcrum or something? The, the target man, uh, the, cent the big centre forward that plays for Dortmund. Um, what I was gonna say, I think he scored, but it was given offside or something like that. 
Yeah, man, good center forward, man. You, you need these old-fashioned center forwards around, man. You know, I know the game is evolving, but these strikers, we still need them in the game. They still have use. Um, so, yeah, Germany going to call Savinia. I don't even know what Savinia was trying to do. You cannot play a high line, man, against Germany, man. That was just diabolical, man. Wait, what, what are you trying to do? <laughs> You know, you're trying to go out, all guns blazing, trying to score against Germany, which they did. They, they, they scored a goal. They scored a goal, German. Uh, uh, Savini actually scored a goal. I think they were in front. Yeah, I think they were in front. And then Germany equalized, I can't remember. But the base, the bit, what I got, what I gathered from most of the games is that most of the sides that score first are the sides that get knocked out, in, except for Italy. Yeah, because Italy didn't score no goal. So, they got knocked out. Because they didn't score no goal. Next game, um, today's game, is, uh, is England versus Slovenia and Spain versus Georgia. So, in the game against England, I didn't watch much of the game against England. Because um, I was raking the yard and, you know, the yard need cutting, so I needed to rake it after it got cut in, but what I've been seeing, bro, I wasn't surprised when Slovakia took the lead against England. I was not surprised. I, I'm telling you right now, I was not surprised. Because when they got one nil up, when they were one nil up, and I came back inside to check on the game, they were one nil up. They were leading. And in the second half, it's pretty much the same. And I'm not going to go in pizza, piece and break it down in pieces as to how England played, which was average. But what got them out of trouble, what got them out of the, the, the reins that they were in was the quality of the players they have. Was the quality of the players they have. Because in the dying seconds of the game, man, one cross from, uh, who was it? Was it Cole Palm or Phil Foden across the ball in for the corner? Yeah, I believe it was Foden across the ball in and then Bellingham go score and equalize with a bicycle kick. And that was due to that was due that was due to quality of the players. That wasn't due to tactics. That wasn't due, you know, to to um to the self play. Cause in reality, again, I didn't watch the most the mo the most of the game, but I can tell what happened in the game. England failed to break down Slovakia, and they had to reside to a corner. And the quality of the players they had to go equalize, which I'm not taking against. You know, if you go get a goal, go get a goal. Is me. And they go get that and equalize. Now in the second, in the extra time, first minutes of the game, first minutes of the extra time, um, Ivan Tony came on. Um, I don't think Southgate was expecting to go in, in extra time, but he go put on Ivan, Ivan Tony. Is me and Ivan Tony became an impact because he was he was the one that assisted Hurricanes goal. You know, it was a corner, it was a cross taken, it was a free kick taken by Cole Palmer. And then Ace go try to take shot and misshoot it. Then he went to Ivan Tony. Then Ivan Tony headed it to Hurricane. And from close range, you know, Hurricane is not going to miss that type of opportunity, isn't me? That's the best opportunity a striker would beg for on his knees. He was not going to miss that. So that's 2 1. They're in front. So by the skin of them knuckles, they've gone into the, the, the quarter final, England. Although they have not been having a convincing um, tournament, not by a stretch, giving the players him half. They have not been, a, uh, they have not had a convincing tournament, England. But right now it's a result that, the results that matter. So and we can't take that away from England. So you know what that means? That means the South K, I call him Gotage. Gotage is still in job for England. Spain against uh, Georgia. I didn't watch that game, to be honest. I, I do as much as I love football, but I'm not. I'm not so big on watching football games like every two hours, bro. Does me? I'm not. Hey, <laughs> I rather play football for like two hours, but to watch a game every two hours, no, nah, too much TV. Too much TV ain't so good for you. But in a game, of course, Georgia, you know. They ran, they ran their course. They ran their course. You know, um, they weren't going to go for... Well, they went to round 16, which is commendable by them standards. But they were not going to go in those semifinals. Or they, I mean, you know, not hating on them. But they weren't going to go in the semifinals, given the size 
that are in the knockout stages. They were not. No, they they overreached by going to the round of sixteen, and and good ups to them. But they yeah, Spain Spain beat them four one. Um, good goals from Nico Williams. Um, who else scored? Uh, and some other players, bro. Some new Spain players that I'm not familiar with. Um, one is, I do yeah, I do, I do I'm not familiar with their names, but um, them score, um, a goal. Actually, the funny thing is that Georgia scores go, go score first. It was an own goal, and against Spain, Spain go score own goal, and go put Georgia in front and be through the resilience of Spain, you know. They beat Georgia and knocked them out. So they're through to the next round. But if you think those games were dramatic, check out Copa America tonight. Let me tell you something about Copa America. And this is, I'm going to talk about Jamaica in a second. I'm going to leave that game for last, actually. So let's talk, let's talk about the Ecuador versus Mexico game. So here's the, here's the caveat. Here's the, tr here's the story to this group. And for those that start just start watching the video, this is not gunshot, this is just fireworks. We're gonna be celebrating Canada Day tomorrow, isn't it? Me? So don't 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 feel shook if you're hearing those type of songs. This is just firecrackers. So the game against um Ecuador and Mexico. Here's the story of that. The group is that um Mexico is was going to get knocked out, right? Um they had four points. Ecuador has at least what what am I four wait I think they had four points to Ecuador but they lead in terms of goals amount of goals scored is me and that leaves Mexico in third place and Venezuela winning them three games getting nine points from them three games they win them now on top of the table and Jamaica you know <laughs> we're the low hanging fruit so we are at the bottom of the table. But again, the game against um, Ecuador versus Mexico, it was a fruitless game because there was no goal scored. Is me? And in the second half, Mexico trying them tat them dirty tactics to try to get a penalty, try to get a free kick near the, near the penalty box, to get a, a a goal to try go through. They did that. They pretty much did that up to the last second last minute of the game where this bridging will fall over the box and try to get penalty and initially the, the referee gave the penalty but the, the upper echelon of the referee unit system were saying hold on man thing it it, 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 it something don't look right it look as if him foul him from the, the referee's point of view from where the referee was standing up but the the, the persons in the V are we're saying, no, you have to go to double check. <laughs> I know, say, if you initially give a penalty, I have to go double check it. You know, say, it's not going to be a penalty. It's me. And but, but see, the, the thing, the funny thing was that as the game go finish, Mexico, you look at Mexico faces, man. They have long faces, man, because they, they, they were on the verge of elimination. And they were basically going to get eliminated. Is me? They had no hope in them. Is me? And 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 Ecuador, where you know, if them get the draw, them go through. But this bridging go fall over in the box. Try try to for try to for goal by falling in the box, get penalty, and score the penalty. So they so it makes so if they if they got the penalty, Mexico, and score the penalty, Mexico would have, Mexico would have gone through, and and Ecuador would have got knocked. Knock, knocked up, eliminated. Is me. So it was a change of emotions. Mexicans, Mexican fans were like, "Yes, man, yeah, we have a chance to actually, you know, get a goal and go through to the next round." This is Mexico, you know. Come on, man, this ain't Bolivia. I think Bolivia is with the next round. So let's not disrespect Bolivia. But in any case, man, the the emotions changed. But when the referee go say, "No, it's not no penalty." Them faces gone back to long, long faces, man. <laughs> and the emotions switch in Ecuador's favor. They were like, yeah, man, I don't know penalty, ball no life. Go ahead, bro, do not look for penalty. You know, long story short, Mexico get knocked out. <laughs> Mexico get knocked out and uh, Jamaica. Let me talk about the Jamaican game now. So this is where 
This is the meat of the matter, and I'm talking to my Jamaican brethren right now that watches these videos. We know see this manager, this manager is this is numbered. He's not gonna stay here for a long time, and not because he's gonna resign, but he's waiting for that paycheck to be cut to him because he knows say when he go get suck, he's going to get a fat paycheck. He knows that. He knows that. So he's not even, you know, he's not even worried about getting Jamaica far in his competition, man. If he were, if he really cared about Jamaica, why is he sitting down? Why are you not talking? Why are you not communicating with your, using me, your players from the sideline? Why are you not talking to your, your captain? Tell you what, the Batist, the 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 the, the, the coach for um, is we play against like, oh Venezuela, is me we go play against Venezuela man, and their coach got suspended, so the coach can't be on the side because he will get suspended for whatever he did. I think he was late for something for so so because he was late for principal sake he will get suspended. So he wasn't on the side and to go communicate with his players. So he had someone in his place that he get suspended. But he had something, some headphones, something in his ears so he could communicate to, to another person. The other person will communicate to the person that is in the stead of being head coach, the acting head coach, and, tell, and, 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 and voice his tactics to him. But yes, if you see how Venezuela played, Venezuela was the better side on the day. And it's not that way. Let me, all right, I'll be over the place. Let me talk about Jamaica. This is not about Venezuela. Let's talk about Jamaica. Jamaica is not ready for no World Cup. We're not ready for no, no Copa America. We're not ready for no football competition, man. We're not ready. We're not ready. We don't have the quality of the players. I don't even think the players know how to transition on their counter-attack. Because it was one time when we, when we get the ball from um, Venezuela... And the number three, Hector, I believe it's Hector, go pass the ball back to the, the, the Venezuelan guys. We're not, we, we, you're not no Venezuela player, so why pass the ball to a Venezuela player? And them go win ball and put us under pressure at the same speed. Of course, the manager, the coach for Jamaica was looking to be more attacking because he put on outlet Demari Gray. Demari Gray started the game. Nicholson uh, came off of the bench. Um, someone else started in his stead. So, of course, we're trying to, you know, try to get some out of it. Because, I mean, we're eliminated anyway. So, what what's the worst thing we can do at this point? Hmm? So, let's just play some football, right? Or oh, 70 minutes. So, that's what happened in the first minutes. But the, th the thing is this, man. We can't keep our possession. We cannot pin up. Let me say, pin up, man. Why are you trying to be like Gerard Piquet? You don't know Gerard Piquet. You can't play long, long passes. I mean, you can play long passes, but bro, man, when you're, when you're playing three long passes in the first minutes of the game and all of them gone for throwing, you know, say, you're not onto something. You, you need to change. You need to adapt. You need to change something. Not saying that they can't try and try and try again, but three consecutive times, man, you're putting your side under pressure by doing that. It's me, and you're old. You look, you look, you look, you look, you look like an old head. So that that sh you should not have, um, you shouldn't have done that. It makes me speechless, man. It's me. We're not ready. We don't have the players are not competitively mature to be uh, to be playing these stages, man. We are just not. And I play, and I, f I play bad. I feel bad for Demar Gray because he plays way better football in the Premier League with Everton, and I and I and I feel bad for what's his name again, Michael Antonio, because he plays for some in the Premier League, and he's not used to this type of football. Why is it that you're going to be playing Antonio like a centre defensive mid, a centre midfielder when he's supposed to be the first man up top? Why are you what were you trying to fool the defenders? As the centre forward, he should be playing up up there so. Tactics are not. He should be playing up there so. You're playing him left wing. You're playing him. I like there was this one time I see I saw him as defensive midfield, like he was like near the centre box, taking the ball off of the centre box. What's that about? What's what's wrong with the midfield? Why you don't trust the midfielders in ball possession? If that's the case, then why are they starting? 
Why are they starting? So I feel bad for Michael and Tony, man. They, this side has no drill system. And that's the same thing I complain about with Manchester United. But at least Manchester United get goals, though. Yes, they have quality players better than Jamaica, but they still get goals, though. Even if the system is not forthright. But with Jamaica, man, we don't, we, it's like we don't know what we're doing when we're transitioning in attack. We can hold on to the ball for ten. We can hold on to the ball for uh, for for for, for ten seconds, man. As someone would say, they can't. They have the. the, the I'm I'm not going to even say, it, but they can't hold on to the ball long, man. If Jamaica was a person and him have a girlfriend, they couldn't have, they couldn't hold her longer than a couple of months, <laughs> and that's real talk because you have the players that are technically gifted. To, to play football, to transition when we are counter-attack, to try to control the game. Although in position, yes, we control the game. But when you're watching the game, you know, say Venezuela had us. They were pressing us. First goal. is all the first goals. The first goal shouldn't have scored, man. Pinnock and, and, and the center box. Why are you not marking this small you? This guy should not have headed the ball and scored. That's all down to marking. That's down to, to positioning. What are you guys doing in training? That guy shouldn't have scored. This guy's like 4-5. And Pinnock on the other bridging is like 6-2. So this guy shouldn't have never scored a header. But it was a very good header because he was it was a very good cross, by the way. And uh the, the he, he headed it really good. But that shouldn't have scored though, because the defender should have gotten to it. And we have taller players than Venezuela. The second goal. Dude, this is not 2018. You see me? Solomon Rondon shouldn't have scored against Jamaica. And I like Solomon Rondon. You see me? He looks like Gus, you see me, from The Wire in season 5. But this version shouldn't have scored. He shouldn't have scored. He's slow, and with and yes, he has experience because he's played at the top level of football. But come on, man, <laughs> you can't allow this bridging to body you off the ball and score a scruffy goal. It wasn't even a goal that was, you know, you know, them finish shot with power. It wasn't even a finish shot with power, or no power. It was just like impossible. And I go like what you would expect a five year old to do in front of goal with his left foot. So that's in tough score. The defender got bamboozled and out muscled, man. That goal shouldn't have scored, man. But it was it's 2-0. Then third goal. Dude, I why why are we playing a high line? Yes, we're trying to at least get a goal, but why are we playing a high line? And the line wasn't even in line. Like the number 17, low, I believe his name is. The cap, our captain, played the attacker on side. The other, other defenders were in line, but Low played the attacker on side. Cause if the if Low was in line with his own defenders, the attacker that scored the goal, that got all the glory and the space to go score the goal and go score, wouldn't have scored it, cause it would have been offside. So that's the communication piece that's off, man. And we got all class, man. But yeah, the manager, his days are numbered. He knows it. But he, he, he's, he's, he's at the point where he don't care because he's going to get his money either way if, if he will get sucked. So he's not worried about that. He's worried about getting this and he's going to get it. But for the betterment of Jamaican side, of the Jamaican side, that's poor English on my part, um, we have a long way to go. I'm I'm object I'm not even criticizing, I'm not even in the mood to curse or nothing. We're not at the level. Dude, we're dude man, hey. <laughs> I don't even think we can if Jamaica was a club side, I don't even think they would have even made it out of division three in the Premier League in in, in England. We don't know what we're doing, man. Transitioning the attack, keeping possession of the ball. The reason why we had more possession than Venezuela in certain aspects of the game is because we're playing passes 
safe passes, not risky passes that breaks the line and create chances. That's what Venezuela was doing. And Venezuela could have scored more goals and, you know, big ups to it. Weight was decent in goal, but some of the finishes, man, we shouldn't have allowed that to the score, man. Our defense was off, our midfield was off, our attack was off. Why are you playing Demar Gray Central and playing Michael Antonio and left and side? What kind of game running around here, so man? What's that about? Really, what's that about? Ideally, you would want your center forward through the middle because he's a center forward. And you would want your left winger on the left wing because he's a left winger. Not a center winger. That, that, that's an oxymoron. That would make no sense. So I don't even know where you get, you know, having Demar Gray through the middle and, 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 and Michael. Michael Antonio do have, do have, I'm not saying he's slow, but he doesn't have the pace to play, to play wide. He doesn't have this, the pace to play wide. So that was all, that was way off. I don't even know what, what's the appeal to that strategy. What, again, man, what game are you trying to run around you, sir, man? Come in some below. Come in some below. And of course, Jamaica got knocked out with Ecuador. Actually, with Mexico. Mexico and Jamaica got knocked out. Um, what I didn't, what I didn't know until now is that in this tournament, we scored our first ever Copa America goal and we're playing eight Copa America tournaments. That's shocking, man. That's shocking. Our f international football um, record is shocking, when, especially when it comes down to co competitions that really matter. Copa America, man. Eight tournaments, we go play in Copa America and we score one dega dega goal in our competition. And is this competition we go score the goal in? That's not a good look, man. Again, the players are not good enough. <laughs> you, you hear me talk about that with Manchester United. And as a Manchester United fan, I'm saying the same thing about my country. That we are not ready to play at the, the, the pinnacle of world football. We play too much scrimmage goals, man. We play too much scrimmage games, man. That to the point where we go when we actually play football, we do we 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 turn full, we don't even know what to do, cause we play too much scrimmage football, and in training, what are we doing in training? What type of drills we doing in training? Hmm. Like seriously, what kind of what kind of drills we doing in training, man? So yeah, Jamaica gone home looking to him wounds, but I mean, like, I can't say I, I didn't see it coming, but, you know, I, I acted a fool. I knew, I, 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 I wanted to believe that Jamaica could have actually go through to the next round, when in reality I knew that wasn't going to happen. You know, but honestly, man, we're not ready to be, not even qual try qual I know so we we'll go try still try qualify for World Cup, but we're not ready to qualify for World Cup. Cause if you go qualify for World Cup, we just go get knocked out. It's like it's like you're in track and field, you see me? And in the one hundred meters you get first place. You get you qualify for the one hundred meter final. And when in the one hundred meter final you come last place. What's up with that? That's been the basic story of Jamaica. When it comes down to friendly games, certain friendly games, we draw, we win, and we lose. Right? But when it comes down to proper competition where football actually matter, we lose heavily. We can't see how much goals. Over, uh, about six goals we can see. And we score one goal. And this goal is our first ever goal in the, com in, the, in the competition. First ever goal in Copa America. But I'll have to say this, that the persons that came out in support of Jamaica, they gave my respect because deep down, they knew that Jamaica wasn't going to go far. But for the camaraderie of it, just to represent them own country, they went there to represent them own country. And I respect that, you see me? Because, let's be honest, the tickets to go into them stadiums is not cheap. 
So if them go to them stadiums, you know, say they really, they really want to see their side actually try something out. But yeah, man. Um. The the the, the games that are in the Copa America next round, definitely Euros next round, are looking tasty. Spain versus Germany, England versus Switzerland, and uh, hmm. tomorrow, if if Belgium beat France, which will not happen because they do have a chance, is because France is my side, so I'm not support France. But France, when France beat Belgium, because we're going to beat Belgium, we're going to play against either Portugal or the side that's going to be playing against Portugal. Is me so whoever win that game, we're gonna be playing against them. If Belgium beats France, God forbid, then they're gonna play against Portugal or whatever side Portugal is playing against tomorrow. That's if them get uh, that's if they go beat Portugal. And I think another game is playing tomorrow, I can't remember. But yeah, that's the basic MO of the, the tournament, man. What's what's your thoughts? Leave your leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. I've been run, running my mouth for the first for the first for at least thirty one minutes. Comments down below, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, man, as a Jamaican, it's it's well, I support Canada, so the fact is that I have a side in Copa America still to support, and that's Canada. And funnily enough. The side that beat Jamaica, that's Venezuela, is going to be playing against Canada. <laughs> so, I don't want Venezuela to do a double whammy on us. And, and when them go beat Jamaica, I know them, 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 them go beat Canada. Let's not do that. Ja Canada has to beat, has to beat, is me, has to beat Venezuela, man. You can't you do when you when you're allowing Solomon Rondon to score against you in 20, 2024. Come on, man. What what are you doing, man? <laughs> what, what are you doing, man? So anyway, comment below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um yeah, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys. Hmm. Hmm. Is does tomorrow conclude round of sixteen? I believe tomorrow concludes round of 16. I'm not sure. Um, if it does, then I'll do a video tomorrow. Because um, yeah, cause I know the, the quarter finals are going to look quite tasty. To say the least. So yeah. Tomorrow, possible. I'll show you guys in the next video podcast. My brother is out. Peace.